It, the buffer cells work by buffering crankshafts in between machining units on the floor. Um, the buffers will actually hold up to 42 crankshafts in the buffer conveyors themselves, as well as uh, a reject part nest that holds up to one to two parts, and then two reject shuttles that hold anywhere from two to four parts. Once it's machined, uh, there will be a buffer cell between each machining center. The crankshafts are stored there from an overhead gantry that will disperse those into each one of the cells and um, then it takes it off and drops it into the machining center when they are ready for the machining operation and then it is again placed back into the buffer system. Each one of the machining centers can only handle up to one or two parts therefore you have uh, numerous parts up to 42 that are uh, currently being in the buffer cell waiting for the machining operation so they stay there until they are ready for a call from the machining center. We built these uh, buffer cells for one of the large auto manufacturers to uh, help buffer their crankshaft line. And um, this is again an operation to uh, help focus on lean manufacturing for, uh, for their facilities to um, help uh, reduce labor costs as well as speed up their throughputs and cycle times um, to become a more lean manufacturing operation.